Egypt, a land of great antiquity that began with peasants and pharaohs and survived the onslaught of numerous invaders over the centuries. It now appears to be caught in a time warp as a colorful nation busy themselves much like their ancient ancestors once did. A wonder of the world and constant reminder of the powerful pharaonic period. The looming great pyramids of Giza are guarded by the mysterious Sphinx. This, together with the royal temples and tombs scattered along the fertile Nile banks, attracts thousands of tourists annually. But the greatest attraction of all is scuba diving in the Red Sea. Rated as one of the top 10 dive sites of the world, divers from around the globe come to experience its pristine waters. Diving from luxury dive boats where a high standard amongst dive operators is maintained adds to the experience. Beneath the surface, the surrounding arid desert is forgotten and a colourful water wonderland evolves. A combination of warm water, excellent clarity, endemic species and abundant marine life ensures superb diving. It is only through the awareness of the importance of dive tourism and conservation efforts, however, of various non-profit organisations that the coral reefs have maintained their pristine beauty. We are, we are working within a, an official governmental uh, master plan, if you will, which has officially declared quite clearly that tourism is the engine for this country's development. So there is a lot of um, prioritising of resources towards whatever is required to facilitate the development of tourism. And now with the association we are now able to demonstrate and voice that diving and diving related activities are in fact a, an independent standalone major part of the whole tourism um, uh, industry, which is what's happening now. Previous lack of conservation awareness is history as these organizations work together with a positive vision of the future. The various threats to the coral reefs that they address includes irresponsible diving habits, epidemic outbreaks of the crown of thorns starfish and the most damaging of them all, anchoring on fragile coral reefs. Hepka in the mooring installation and maintenance project, currently the largest of its kind with close to 500 moorings already installed, has proved invaluable in protecting the Red Sea's delicate and diverse ecosystem, thus ensuring it remains one of the best dive destinations in the world. And what I call it is, uh, is a symphony of colours that you do not see in many other places.